Choose Tale. We bring you the witch's tale, written and produced by Alonzo Dean Cole. Let us join old Nancy and Satan, her wise black cat. <laughs> Hannah and eleven year old I be today. Yes, sir. Hannah and eleven year old. Will Satan? If folks will just down have them lights now, we'll be getting down to business. We want it dark and cheerful for our pretty little yarn. Draw up to the fire and gaze into them buzz. Gaze into them deep. And soon you'll see a dusty road way down in South America in the wilds of the Argentine. On that road begins our tale of the wonderful bottle. <laughs> the wonderful bottle. hundred miles from Buenos Aires now. You'll never be able to walk it, kid. Why, the soles is all worn from your shoes, and them feet of yours are bleeding. I'll walk it. I've got to. <laughs> the hike will be easier now. Think of the load that's off my mind. I don't have to worry any longer as to whether my shoes will hold out. When two guys are as down and out as we are, they don't really have to worry about anything. Good. And we left the States to seek our fortune in the Argentine. Fortune. Ha! <laughs> We certainly haven't found it, have we? But maybe we'll strike something in Buenos Aires that'll put us on our feet again. Yeah, if we can stand on your feet when we get there. Kid, you simply got to bust into that 50 bucks you have and buy a pair of shoes. Oh, I, I can't do that, man. That 50 has ever said I've been able to scrape together in the last three months. It's got to go home to my folks. They need it terribly. I suppose you don't need it. Oh, I'm young. They're old. I really owe it to them. Matt, you don't know how they scraped and saved in order to help me work my way through college. And now they've been taken care of either since her parents died because... Well, simply because they know she's going to marry me someday. It nearly drives me crazy to think $50 is all I have to send them. And it drives me nuts to be tramping across country bumming meals when you have money pinned inside your shirt. If that dough has got to go to your folks, get an express order and send it to them for the love of Mike. Well, I can't until we get to Buenos Aires. That's where they think I'm doing so well in my own business. If I sent them a money order from anywhere else, Matt, they might suspect the truth. Yeah, but your own way. I think you're a darn fool, but I kind of envy you with that. Must be nice having folks and a girl like that Eva you're so crazy about. I ain't got nothing. Never had. I'm lucky, aren't I, Matt? Yeah. God, I'm hungry. So am I. It's been a long time since our last meal. About 36 hours, that's all. Hey, kid, take a look behind them trees. Gee, what a beautiful house. <laughs> 
There ought to be some odd jobs we could do in a place like this to earn a dinner. Oh, we'll soon find out. Hmm. Here's the entrance gate, Matt. Come on. I'm right behind you. What's that? An old Spanish woman back there on the road. Calling to us, Matt. He's a servant on the place, I suppose, who wants to tell us no bums allowed inside the ground. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, we've been kicked out of better places than this. Come on. I'm coming. All right, all right. Don't get excited. Can't you see we're coming out? Matt, I don't think she's trying to ball us out. Oh, what is she doing then? You understand the Spanish lingo. I'll ask her. ¿Qué dijo usted, señora? Gracias a Dios. Con este momento, Matt, she says she saved us from great danger. Danger? What danger? The kiss of trata, senora. Si son entrado por la puerta de esta casa, Javier, que situan las almas inmortales. Senora! She says if we'd gone to that house, we'd have lost our immortal souls. Lost our souls? Se construía esta casa por la diabla. She says that house was built by the devil. By the... Oh, you're joking, senora. I mean... Usta has de bronca. No, no. El viejo que vive a la estrellada del diablo. Si habían ido a ese puerto, la vendería una batida con la mandaria a incendio. He says the man who lives there is a servant of hell. But if we'd gone to that door, he'd have tried to sell us something that would damn us forever. Well, if that ain't the craziest yarn I ever heard. She must be a little mad to tell us a story such as that. If she ain't... Giving us the bum's rush, let's go back and try for a meal. She's huh? not a servant in that house. <laughs> I'll thank you for advice first. Uh, accept the usted la expression de ma... Profunda gratitude, senora. Tenga que ame a hora. Adios. Oh, no. Ustedes son americanos. Puntos con lo crino. Si van a esta casa, se contraen maquillosa. He says if we go to that door, we'll regret it. Bunk, come on. <laughs> I'm coming. Adios, senora. Oh, go fly a kite. Oh, don't talk to her like that, Matt. People down here are very superstitious. She probably believes the crazy yarn she told us. Well, if the devil built that house, I'll say he's a good architect. It's the swellest joint I've seen in South America. It must be great to have a place like that to live in. Instead of being like us. I wonder if we'll ever sleep inside a house again. And that. Someone's opening the door. An old guy's coming out. To tell us to beat it, I suppose. Oh, I suppose so. I bid you welcome to my house, senor. Hmm? Is he talking to us? May I invite you gentlemen to have dinner at my table? Dinner? Us? Of course, senor. Jeff. Matt. We're dreaming. At last, our luck has changed. I overheard your remark, senor. In meeting me, you soon will find that your luck indeed has changed. Gee, senor, you've been wonderful to oh, us. Oh, no, 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 senor. Oh, well, we're nothing but a pair of ragged tramps. Yet you served us a wonderful dinner, shown us about your this beautiful house, treated us as though we were gentlemen. It has been great happiness to have you here. No one ever comes to visit me, and I am very lonely. No one ever comes to visit you? No one. And as you perhaps have noticed, I have not even servants. I've been wondering who does the work in this big place of yours. I am about to speak of that. I saw you talking to one of my countrywomen on the road outside. She may have told you tales of me. Did she tell you tales of me, senor? Well, well a woman told us a lot of superstitious bunk, if that's what you're driving at. You Americanos are not superstitious, as are the people of my country. You do not believe in the devil whom she told you was my master. My pal and I haven't much faith in anything right now. You have been very unfortunate in South America. I'll say we have. Yet you, my young friend, say you have in your possession $50. Well, you asked if we were absolutely penniless, senor, and 
As you'd been so generous, I thought it only fair to explain my exact situation. Your principles do you honor. What would you say if in exchange for the $50, I offer you a house as beautiful as this? If I offer you wealth, power, women, anything your heart desires? I don't understand you. Yes, sir, you're not trying to kid us into believing what that old lady said was true. No, I am not trying to just to, senor. Excuse me, I want to show you something I keep in this closet. This... I am friend, is what you may buy with your fifty dollars. That? For fifty bucks? Why, well, that's just a, a glass bottle. But not an ordinary glass bottle. Here, take it in your hand. Certainly, if you wish me to. What? Holy! Hey, how'd you make it to that? Matt! Well, the thing leaped right out of my finger. And returned to mine because I am its owner. Let me see you do that trick again. It was not a trick. But I would show you something more worthy of the powers of this bottle. Is there something you wish for very much, senor? Something you consider impossible to attain? What are you driving at with all this? You soon shall see. You, my young friend, tell me what you wish most. Why, I... Come, no matter how impossible, tell me what you wish. I wish to hear the voice of someone at home. The voice of Eva. Listen. I wish you to hear the voice of Eva. Yeah. Matt! Oh, is that? Yes! It's Eva's voice! I've heard her singing that song a thousand times. But it can't be Eva. She's in California, thousands of miles away. Shall I wish her to stand within this room that you may see her? No, no. I want you to have nothing more to do with that. Stop that voice I hear. Stop it. Very well. I wish you to hear the voice no longer. How did you do that? Who? What are you? I am merely the owner of this bottle. And whoever is its master can have each wish come true. I will sell you this wonderful bottle for only $50. What are you trying to put over? We ain't kids who believe in fairy tales. Some fairy tales are true, senor. Truths that have been forgotten in the centuries of time. Thousands of years ago, this bottle came from hell. An emperor owned it who conquered the world. He sold it to another who became the wealthiest of men. He sold it oh, wait. to another who... you mean to say if that bottle granted wishes, anyone would dispose of it? Its owner must dispose of it before death. This bottle will cure sickness, but it will not prolong life. And whoever dies possessing it must burn in hell forever. I am old. You see why I must sell it before it is too late. You must buy from me, senor. You must. My neighbors fear me. They want strangers from my door, as you have seen. I'm afraid to go away and seek a buyer, for I might meet accident upon the road and die while I still own it. You may be my final chance, senor. Give me your fifty dollars for this mastery of life. You are young. You too can sell when you grow old. Senor, I beg. This is some new kind of confidence game, Jeff. Oh, no, I swear. Since you were so anxious to get rid of this wonderful bottle, senor, why must you sell it? And for just the sum you know I have. It cannot be given away. And it can neither be destroyed or lost. That is its law. It must be sold. And for less than its purchase of paid. So its price has dropped to the ages. You see the danger were I to sell too cheap. Someday a buyer cannot sell. Please buy. I swear it will give all I say. Oh, we've had enough of this bump. Let's get out of here, Jack. Oh, no, no, wait. Wait, wait. You must leave. You think I would cheat you with a trick? Look, give me your fifty dollars. Take the bottle. Say, I buy. Then wish your money back into your hand. If you do not find it there, I say no more. Oh, really? I don't want... Go on, Jeff. See what happens since he puts it that way. I'll see you get your fifty back. Well, if it's only to see... Good. Give me your money. Say, I buy. Here. I buy. Ha-ha! The bottle is yours! Doesn't jump away now. Wish for your money back, kid, as he said. Yes, I wish for... The money's in my hand! Toss! It's quicker than words! But ha-ha! The oh, good Lord, I believe it is! And you bought it! You own it! And I am free at last to die in peace! Now you will have each wish fulfilled! Now you will bear each curse that follows! Curse! Wait and see! Ha-ha! You own the wonderful bottle now! Ha-ha! You own the wonderful bottle. <laughs> Satan, if these folks want to hear the rest of our little yarn, they got to come see us next time I has a book day. <laughs>
bring you the witch's tale, written and produced by Alonzo Dean Cole. And now let us join old Nancy and Satan, her wise black cat. <laughs> Hunter and five year old I be today. Yes, sir, Hunter and five year old. And now, if you're just douse out them lights, Satan and me will bring you the finish of that yarn we started last time. We told you how a couple of young American fellas down in Argentina met an old Spaniard who sold one of them a magic bottle that grants its owners every wish. That bottle was made by the devil. <laughs> and anyone who owns it must get rid of it before he dies or he is burned in hell's fire forever. The bottle can't be destroyed or lost, but it can be sold for less than the seller paid for it. Now draw up to the fire and gaze into embers. Gaze into them deep and hear some more about the wonderful bottle. <laughs> the wonderful bottle. <laughs> Can't get over it, Jeff. As impossible as it seems, that Don bottle does everything that old Spaniel said it did. Boy, here we sit in the best hotel in Buenos Aires, with swell clothes on our back and pockets full of money, and all you've done is wait. Yes, but I'll be glad to get on that boat tomorrow. It's going to take us back to Frisco. See, I'm just crazy to see my folks in Eva. You can see them. Here and now, if you wish. Yes, I know, but... I don't want the bottle to have anything to do with them directly, Matt. If there is a curse goes with it, I'd, I want it to be just mine. Oh, forget about that curse that the old guy spoke of. Nothing but good has happened yet, has it? When you wish yourself into all you can think of, you just sell that bottle to me. And you're going to get it pretty soon. There isn't much more I want now I have the house I wished for. That was a darndest thing, you finding that old letter from your folks when you got here saying how they struck oil on that farm. And it bought just the very house you'd wish for. Yes. Everything I wished in a home, they described as parts of the one they'd bought. No, oh, that ain't really your home, though. It's your parents'. Well, whatever belongs to one belongs to all with my family. Yeah, but you wished for a place for just you and the Ziva kid. Yes, I did. Matt, I'm going to sell you this bottle now if you want it. I'm afraid of it somehow. What's the matter, kid? Oh, I don't know, only... I just want to get rid of it. All right. Well, we got $40 change. Is that all right? Yes. Take it. Say, I buy. I buy. Say, in my hands now. Oh, boy, what I'm going to... Well, there's someone at the door. I'll see who it is. One couple grams. Cable gram for you, Jeff. Oh, thanks. What does it say? More good news from your family? It's... It's from Eva. It says... Father and mother killed last night. I wish the house go easier and day. <laughs> John, there is a curse goes with this bottle. <laughs> Oh, 
Jeff, it's a sight for sore eyes seeing you again. Why, it's been over a year since you left me in Buenos Aires. Yes. Come inside the house, Matt. Thanks. This is a swell place you got here. Where's the little woman I'm dying to meet her? Eva and I aren't married yet. Not married yet? No, that's the reason I cabled you to come here. I don't get you. Matt, have you still got the bottle? No. It's gone? Yeah. Wished myself a million bucks in a private yacht. Then sold it to a Portuguese for thirty dollars. I was scared to keep it. You know where it is now. Do you know where I can find the man you sold it to? That's why I sent for you, Matt. I've got to find that bottle. What for? I'll show you. Why are you tearing off your shirt? So you can see why I haven't married. Why I won't even go near the girl I love. Why you so you can see why I don't leave this house. So you can see another curse of that bottle. Look! Look at my back! Just yes. Spot of a leper. A leper! Help me find the bottle, Matt. It's my only hope. My only cure. You think that that's the place we're going, Matt? I hope so, kid. Double as you know. We've searched so long. Three years. And everywhere we find it sold again with misery left behind. Yeah. All the other folks who try to get things easy just like us have found it don't work out. There's no shortcut to happiness. Mm. Hang on to me, kid. I ain't so used to going without eyes yet. Curse had to hit you, too. But if the bottle's where we're going, Matt, it will bring back your sight as well as cure my... Don't... Don't hold my hand so tight. Even through these gloves, my scores may reach. Oh, forget it, I ain't afraid. I'm sure you've been great to me. Keeping me with you on your boat. Away from people who'd send me to some island all alone. Ain't no reason to send you away. You're more afraid of hurting folks than they are of being hurt. And here in China, there's thousands worse than you. Yes, I can walk the streets here. My my kind are common. Oh, here we are, Matt. This is where the woman lives the Dutchman said he sold the bottle to. Leave me to the door, kid. Here, here. Now, I'll, I'll stand back. If she only has it, if she'll only sell it to us. She'll sell, just as we did. Just as we'll want to sell again. Now, make sure she has it. Get it from her quick. She's that English woman the Dutchman said. You can talk to her, Matt. You buy it, I'll buy it from you. Make her sell it to you. Make her. Quiet, Jeff. Someone's coming. What do you want? Does a Mrs. Duncan live here? I am Mrs. Duncan. I've come about a bottle. You will buy it from me? You will buy it? The cursed bottle? Yes. Thank God. I'll bring it to you. Wait. Wait. You see, kid, no one wants it long. I can go home to Eva soon. To Eva. You, you know it's law? Yes. What is its price? You'll buy even when I tell you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I pay six cents. Now the price is five. Five cents. Don't have to take Matt. Five. The price to me will be four. Oh, think you. Soon it can be sold no more. I don't care. If I burn in hell forever, I've got to have that bottle. Five. Here. I buy. Oh, I'm free again. Thank God. I... It was awfully good of you to come back. Gosh, Eva, when you or the kids send for me, I'm always Johnny on the spot. Jeff will always be a kid to you. <laughs> I shouldn't wonder. Kind of hard to realize he's getting along the same as me. Lord, you and him have been married ten years now. Yes, it's ten years since you brought him back from China. Sure. I want to talk to you about that tonight. That's why I asked you to come while he's away. To ask your help. Matt, Jeff is dying. What are you talking about? He's as well as I No, Dying of fear. Eva, that kid ain't afraid of anything. He's afraid of death. Of death which would separate him and me forever. What are you talking about? I've learned about the bottle. The bottle? Yes. Jeff told me about it when he came home from South America. When he sailed with you around the world, I knew it was the bottle for which he sought. And of course, I knew you found it. You are no longer blind. But it was not till yesterday I learned he still possessed it, that he cannot get rid of it. I told you. No, I found it where he thinks it's safely hidden. Oh, but Eva, how could you know it was the bottle? There can only be one that leaps from every hand except its owners. Someone must buy that thing from Jeff. What did he pay for? You know it's law? Yes. He paid four cents to me. Then he must sell for free. And the next buyer pays but two. And after that, one can buy but cannot sell. Yes. Matt, I want you to buy and sell to me. No. You must. 
To save Jeff's life, his reason. You think he'd accept a sacrifice from you? But he mustn't know. I won't do it. Oh, man, please. You're all I have to go for. Listen to me. It won't be a sacrifice. I'll sell the bottle. You can't. Wait. The opportunities aren't as few as you think. Here, a cent is the lowest coin. But in other countries, they are smaller. I'll find another buyer, Matt. I have one now. Yes, Matt, honestly, I have a buyer now. Ain't you saying Oh, that. no, I swear. I'll swear by anything you say. Only get that bottle from Jeff. Oh, Matt, I love you. Perfect, to say so you'll get it from me. Please. All right. I don't know much about women. I hope you ain't lying to me. Jeff, darling, you mustn't blame Matt. I made him do it by lies, deceit. Oh, I don't blame Matt, dear. I should have known when I let him take the bottle from my hands. But he said he needed it. And only its owner can profit. And only its owner can profit by its power. He swore he had a buyer who would save him from its curse. I might have suspected his buyer could be no one but you. I never thought you'd find it out. You forget that whenever the bottle grants a favor, it exacts a punishment as well. This time its curse was knowledge. Knowledge that you would become its possessor. Perhaps the last who will pay its final price. Oh, Eva, did you think it would be easier for me to know in life and after death that you suffered torment in my place? Did you think our separation would be easier than if it were I who paid alone? But there may be no hell of torment. If there is a power of evil, no just God would let it punish so. The power of evil was the creator of that bottle. It can neither be destroyed nor lost. And there is justice and punishment. For always the bottle has been bought for selfish ends. By someone who wished to find an easy way. That's how it came to me. How I employed it. Even you were selfish in buying it for love. I am selfish now again as I thrust this penny in your hand and say, I buy. Yes, take it no, back. No, The bottle is mine again and you are free. But I did not consent. It can't be bought that way. But it can. It stays within my hand. That's because you are my husband. We are one. You can have no possession I do not share. No punishment that is not mine as well. See, I too can hold the flower. No. I am its owner as well as you. Eva. What do we care? Earth, heaven or hell, we'll be together. One forever. Yes, I love you. What does it matter? Who's there? I have come to buy. Papa, Jeff. I'll let him in. It comes too late. I am the last purchaser. I paid a single cent. I have brought smaller currency than that. Give me the bottle. I buy. What have you given me? A grain of sand. Who are you? I can't see you well. You are. You seem only a voice in a cloud of mist. Who are you? One stronger than evil and selfishness. One with the strength of love. Yes, of course. The last purchase. bottles round these days. Too bad. They was handy in a pinch, long as you weren't the last to buy. 